Okay, geomorphers. This is a quick demonstration on how to measure distances on maps and convert to units that are going to be meaningful for you. So standard U.S. Geological Survey maps, when they're printed out, have um, scales of 1 to 24,000. These are the 7.5 minute maps, or the 15 minute maps are at a scale of 1 to 62,500. Now what this numeric scale means, looking at the 7.5 minute maps, that means that when it's printed out on the standard size map that the USGS issues, means one unit measured on the map is equivalent to 24,000 of those same units in the real world. Now of course, if you take a snapshot of that map and recreate it somehow, on uh, a document and then print it up, it's going to be at a different scale. So this scale is only useful if it is of a map that is at, printed at the original, the original document and nothing has been modified from that. It hasn't been photocopied or anything like that. So let's do an example. Let's say you're working with a map, a 15 minute map, and it has this scale of 1 to 62,500. Again, that means that one unit measured on that map equals 62,500 of those same units on the ground. So you, you could measure it in centimeters. It's going to be equal to those, those uh, 62,500 centimeters on the map. So let's do an example. Let's say you measure two points on that map to be 4.5 centimeters distance. So you measure that with a ruler on the map and you measure that 4.5 centimeters, I'm going to put a subscript M here, indicating that's a distance measured on the map. Now we want to convert that into some meaningful unit for what that distance would be on the ground. So there are 62,500 centimeters, subscript G, on the ground for every centimeter on the map. There is our conversion, and centimeters on the map are going to cancel out. Now that's going to be a really big number. It's going to be centimeters, right? So it's going to be a huge number. So let's convert that to meters. So everybody knows that there are 100 centimeters per meter. And we can put subscript G there for that. And that way, centimeters cancel out. And when we go through that entire calculation, we should find that the answer is 2,800 meters. And I've rounded to two significant digits here. So 4.5 centimeters measured on a map of 62,500 scale is equal to 2,800 meters. Of course, that's equal to 2.8 kilometers. We could write that out as a conversion, but everybody knows how to do that as well. So there it is. Now let's put that into feet instead of meters. So let's take our initial distance of 2,800 meters, which is on the ground, right? 2,800 meters on the ground. I'm going to drop the subscript here because we're not doing any conversion to the map now. What would that be in feet? So you've got a sheet that I've given you here that has standard conversions. And we know that there are 3.281 feet for every meter. So in this case, we're going to put 3.281 feet per meter. And when we calculate that out, we should come out to 9,200 feet. Again, we're going to round to two significant digits. So does that make sense? Well, there, since a meter is essentially a little bit more than three feet per meter, <laughs> this is going to be about three times what this answer was in, in meters. So yes, we're in the right ballpark. We should be happy with that. Let's put that into miles. So we could take that same measurement, right? I'll write the whole thing out again, 2,800 meters times 3.281 feet per meter. Oops, should be in a meter. So now we're going to be in feet, but now we need to convert that into miles. 
and everybody should know they're 5,280 feet in a mile. That is a number you need to memorize and have in your brain for the rest of your life. I didn't make it up, it's just the way it is. And when we do that calculation, we come out to 1.7 miles. I've already calculated it out, but you should be able to calculate it yourself. Okay, so that's how we do these simple length calculations on a map using a numeric scale and how we convert between different length distances.